in the Democratic Republic of Congo, an alleged M23 rebel bombed lander near the Zaina internally displaced people's camp in Sake. A provisional assessment posts the number of seriously wounded at eight. Reporter Al Katanti Sibiti Jaffa in the eastern DRC city of Goma says the M23 position from where the rocket was allegedly launched is said to be in a protector by the United Nations mission in Congo, known as MONUSCO. He tells me that uh, this added fuel to the anti-UN and Western protests that have been going on in the DRC for about two days. Everything started by a rocket from M23, which landed in an IDP camp called Zaina in Sake. Uh, this rocket injured eight people, and some of them are in a really bad situation. They were evacuated in Goma for their caretaking. And then in this evening, started at 6.30, M23 launched new offensives on FRDC position around Sake and fighting still ongoing till now. People in Sake are saying that the city may fall under M23 control. What do you think is behind this anti-U.S. and uh, U.N. demonstrations? There are a lot of anti-U.S. and U.N. demonstrations around the country and especially in the city of Kinshasa. And this is because Western countries are appointed by Congolese people to keep quiet on the situation of GRC, which is qualified as a genocide by Congolese people. And this situation in Sake can grow up this aggressivity of Congolese people against MONUSCO and the foreign countries. Because last Wednesday, after FRDC succeeded to chase out M23 from Sake, it was reported that a group of M23 fighter was hiding in MONUSCO camp in Kioli Mountain. And this was not confirmed or even denied by MONUSCO. But according to local of Sake and also Wazalendo people, M23 was in the MONUSCO camp or close to a MONUSCO camp, and MONUSCO was blocking Wazalendo or FRDC to attack or to approach that camp so that they can remove M23 from that. And the rocket which landed in Sake today came from that position of M23 in Kiuli Mountain. So this situation, we don't know if tomorrow people will consider this, but if they consider this, even here in Goma, maybe some demonstration. Because yesterday the governor of North Kivu didn't allow locals to demonstrate against MONISCO regarding this situation. Because of the general security situation of the zone, the governor of North Kivu didn't allow. But if people decide to demonstrate and to attack one more time MONUSCO and all representatives of foreign countries like US, UK and France, it will be a number same situation in Goma and all the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. How do you think the people in the camp are reacting to the situation and what preparations are they making in the event that the camp falls? A lot of people in the territory of Masisi have fled the, the wall, leaving their village in the direction of Sake, as Sake is the major city in Masisi, close to the city of Goma. But now, as Sake is also a target of enemy fighting is in the middle of the city of Sake, these people are exposed. That's reporter Al Katanti uh, Sabiti Jaffa speaking with us from the eastern DRC city of Goma. South Africa will send 2,900 troops as part of its contribution to the Southern African Development Community SADC force deployed against armed groups in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. According to Reuters, the 16-member regional organization SADC approved the mission in May to help Congo, the world's top supplier of cobalt and Africa's top copper producer, address instability and deteriorating security in its restive eastern region. About 10,000 children are still fighting alongside armed groups in Central African Republic more than a decade after civil war broke out, the government said on Monday. Mathe Kirimer, the Minister of Family and Gender, said in a statement that children are still being recruited as fighters 
spies, messengers, cooks, and even used as slaves. While 15,000 children have escaped from rebel forces, she said men are traumatized and find it difficult to return to normal life. The mineral rich but impoverished nation has had conflict since 2013 when predominantly Muslim Seleka rebels seized power and forced then President Francois Bozizé from office. Mostly Christian militias fought back, also targeting civilians. The United Nations, which has a peacekeeping mission in the country, estimates the fighting has killed thousands and displaced over a million people, or one fifth of the population. In 2019, a peace deal war reached between the government and 14 armed groups, but fighting continues. The UN is trying to prevent children from joining armed groups and make it easier for those released to reintegrate into society. It has created training programs for them to become mechanics, masons, carpenters, or take up other professions. Some former child soldiers told the Associated Press that their harrowing experiences had pushed them to become peace ambassadors. Osimani, another former child soldier, said that joining the rebels ruined his life and that of those around him. What we did is incredible, he said. The Dani Galasso Foundation, a local civil society group, called on the government to accelerate the peace process to protect child soldiers. They may have fought yesterday, but they can still campaign for peace today foundation head galasso said thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe